Good morning. To the community of Holy Cross and our Mother of Sorrows, as we open ourselves up to the healing presence of Christ during this Eucharistic celebration. At this time, we ask you to silence your electronic device. Let us quietly prepare for today's readings and gospel. Here I am, Lord. Teach me how to seek you and find you in prayer during this Lenten season. Today, the holy sacrifice of the Mass will be celebrated by Father Coffus on this Ash Wednesday, first day of Lent. Good morning. Please join in singing our opening hymn found on page 397 in the green hymnal, Tree of Life 397. Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, O Lord, that we may begin with holy fast so that we may take up battle against spiritual evils and may be armed with the weapon of self-restraint. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Joel. Even now, says the Lord, return to me with your whole heart, with fasting and weeping and mourning. Rend your hearts, not your garments, and return to the Lord your God. For gracious and merciful is he, slow to anger, rich in kindness, and relenting in punishment. Perhaps he will again relent and leave behind him a blessing, offerings and libations for the Lord your God. 
Blow the trumpet in Zion, proclaim a fast, call an assembly, gather the people, notify the congregation, assemble the elders, gather the children and the infants at the breast, let the bridegroom quit his room and the bride her chamber. Between the porch and the altar, let the priests, the ministers of the Lord, weep and say, Spare, O Lord, your people, and make not your heritage a reproach with the nations ruling over them. Why should they say among the peoples, where is their God? Then the Lord was stirred to concern for his land and took pity on his people. The word of the Lord. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, we are ambassadors for Christ, as if God were appealing through us. We implore you on behalf of Christ, be reconciled to God. For our sake, he made him to be sin, who did not know sin, so that we might become the righteousness of God in him. Working together then, we appeal to you not to receive the grace of God in vain. For he says, in an acceptable time I heard you, and on the day of salvation I helped you. Behold, now is a very acceptable time. Behold, now is the day of salvation. The word of the Lord.
Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to his disciples, Take care not to perform righteous deeds in order that other people may see them. Otherwise, you will have no recompense from your heavenly Father. When you give alms, do not blow a trumpet before you, as the hypocrites do in the synagogues and in the street corners, to win the praise of others. Amen, I say to you, they have already received their reward. But when you give alms, do not let your left hand know what your right is doing, so that your almsgiving may be in secret. And your Father who sees in secret will repay you. When you pray, do not be like the hypocrites who love to stand and pray in the synagogues and on street corners so that others may see them. Amen, I say to you, they have received their reward. But when you pray, go to your inner room, close the door, and pray to your Father in secret, and your Father who sees in secret will repay you. When you fast, do not look gloomy like the hypocrites. They neglect their appearance so that they may appear to others to be fasting. Amen, I say to you, they have received their reward. But when you fast, anoint your head, wash your face, so that you may not appear to be fasting, except to your Father who is hidden, and your Father who sees what is hidden will repay you. The Gospel of the Lord. could be saying today as we stand at the beginning of the season of Lent, I think I'm going to pray the stations every week. Or, this Lent, I'm going to go to daily Mass. Or, I'm going to get serious about my prayer life this Lent. Or, it has been years since I've been to confession. This year, for Lent, I am going to go to confession. Or, this year, I am going to complete my little black book. However, the thought can also creep into our mind. You know, I can do all those things later. St. Paul, the spiritual leader, the evangelist, pastor, addresses this inclination that we all have to put what is good and holy aside and to save those things for another day. St. Paul writes this letter to the Corinthians that we have for our second reading, and he is referring to the prophet Isaiah. Isaiah 49, verse 8. In an acceptable time I heard you. On the day of salvation I helped you. Paul adds, Behold, now is a very acceptable time. Behold, now is the day of salvation. And so, heeding 
St. Paul's words and instruction. We do not want to put off what we can do today. We do not want to wait on what will strengthen our relationship with Christ. That is why we come to this holy church at the beginning of the season of Lent, and we are reminded of where we have come from and where we are going. We are reminded that we are dust, and unto dust we shall return. And that is why we do not put off what we should do today in the 40 days of Lent that are ahead of us and every day of our lives. One of the devil's favorite lies is to convince us that we really don't need to get serious about our faith. We can always do that later. However, as children of God, as disciples of the Lord Jesus, we respond to that prompting of God's Spirit that moves us and guides us calling us to do whatever it need, we need to do to strengthen our relationship with our loving Father. Now is a very acceptable time. Lord, bless these ashes by which we show that we are dust. Pardon our sins and keep us faithful to the discipline of Lent. For you do not want sinners to die, but to live with the risen Christ, who lives and reigns forever and ever.
God is our refuge and our fortress. God rescues us in the time of trouble. Trusting in the Lord, we cry out for mercy. For all the members of Holy Church, as they repent and do penance at this chosen time, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer for the will to discipline ourselves by fasting and self-denial, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For generosity to the poor and the oppressed by practicing almsgiving, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That men and women may generously open their hearts to God's invitation to serve his people through the priesthood the diaconate, religious life, holy matrimony, 
and the single life. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For a return to the sacrament of absolution and reconciliation, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have strayed away from our faith, that we may open the hearts of those in doubt, depressed, and despair during this Lenten season, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the people of Turkey and Syria who are grieving the loss of their loved ones, the injured, the missing, and those who have lost everything from the devastating earthquakes, that God's love and compassion will comfort them and give them strength during this difficult time. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our sick, the poor, and the lonely, that they will know God will heal them and restore them to full health again. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the dead who have entered a state of purification and mercy, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for John Powers, for whom this Mass is being offered, we pray to the Lord. And let us pause for a moment and make our own private petitions. We pray to the Lord. O oh God, who promised salvation to those who confess Jesus is Lord, hear our prayers. Strengthen our belief and save your faithful people through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please join in our offertory hymn found on page 386 in the green hymnal, Hosea 386.
pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. As we solemnly offer the annual sacrifice of the beginning of Lent, we entreat you, O Lord, that through the works of penance and charity, we may turn away from harmful pleasures and, cleansed from our sins, may become worthy to celebrate devoutly the passion of your Son, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, for you have given your children a sacred time for the renewing and purifying of their hearts that freed from disordered affections, they may so deal with the things of this passing world as to hold rather to the things that eternally endure. And so with angels and all the saints we praise you without end as we acclaim. of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, 
the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Salvatore, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, our Mother of Sorrows, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with Blessed Grimaldo Santa Maria, and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may always be free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. May the sacrament we have received sustain us, O Lord, that our Lenten fast may be pleasing to you and be for us a healing remedy. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Tomorrow we will begin our Lenten mission. The first session will be tomorrow evening at St. Mark's Church, and that's at 6.30. The Bishop, Bishop Matano, will lead us in adoration of the Blessed Sacrament and uh, offer us invite you to come and to join us for that. And uh, if you're not able to join us, I do ask that you please pray for the success of the mission. Then we'll have two other sessions so they're all listed in the bulletin. I invite you to come and uh, participate in this um, gathering of our seven different parishes and our planning group to listen to the, um, the conferences that Bishop Matano will offer. So this should be a, a very good thing for us to participate and give us a good jump start for Lent. So it'll be good. I'm also happy to realize that I think they are offering now in the seminary a class on how to make a perfect cross. <laughs> yeah. Because I'm noticing a difference from this side of the church to this side of the church. You got the blob effect. But it's still a cross. And I, I'm just a struggling, starving artist, so what do I know? But uh, that's good. I'll show you how to do it. Okay, good. <laughs> I hope you all have a very peaceful Ash Wednesday and a very good and holy Lent. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world seeking the ruin of souls. Please bow down for the blessing. Pour out a spirit of compunction, O Lord, on those who bow before your majesty, and may your mercy give them what you promise and help them to do penance. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the blessings of Almighty God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit come down upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. So you're going to be asked today when people see your ashes, oh, you got ashes today. Today's Ash Wednesday. Yes, today is Ash Wednesday. And this is an opportunity for all of us to be evangelists, right? So we have several other liturgies for us to invite people to. There is a noon Liturgy of the Word at Mother of Sorrows today. So invite people to that. And then let's see if I got this right. There's a 5.30 Mass here this evening, and then there is a 6.30 Mass at Mother of Sorrows. So have those kind of ready, because people are going to ask you, oh, today's Ash Wednesday. Yes, today's Ash Wednesday. So have a great day, everyone. I'm going to go practice my crosses now. <laughs> Please join in our closing hymn found on page 719 in the green hymnal for the healing of the nation 719.